before you invest. Think of think of your your offensive team as the team you invest money with to go multiply. Before you invest, most people watching, most people starting out, most people restarting, most people learning, you really should not try to invest first. You should try to save first. And when I say save, I don't necessarily mean save your money under your mattress or in a savings account. I don't necessarily mean that, although that could be a temporary position, point of time. When I say save, I'm more so talking how do we dominate, protect, and control. So I could save money in a high cash value life insurance policy, which solves for protecting my human life value, controlling the future in a sense. And I have a sense of dominance and confidence because if anything happens to me, my family's okay. So I saved money by acquiring a service, adding to my dream team, an agent that I can trust. And then that those savings have been spent on an asset that will grow, compound, tax-free, right? That's where IBC comes into play here in that example, as it relates to this channel, what we what I teach here. I could save money by, by finding the right doctor instead of getting prescribed drugs to handle my problems. I could go to the right kind of doctor, a functional doctor, and give me real solutions, right? I can save money by hiring a CPA to help me understand what's coming in, what's coming out, and how to you know, retain more of what I'm already making. I can save money by protecting myself, assets that I create, in case I ever get sued, I don't lose it all because I had proper counseling. I could save money by going to a therapist to discuss my problems so that when these problems show up in financial bad habits that I have, if I can get rid of them early, then I'm not going to have that bad financial habit, which cost me $500 to $1,000 a month. Oh, I can save money by having proper estate planning. That's what I mean by saving. Most people save money incorrectly. So I think starting there, again, build your defensive team first, leveraging your quarterback to build a strong defense. Even if you have a bad offensive team, they're going to look amazing because you have great defense. All right. So what that would mean is like having a low ROI rate of return on a particular investment. That may not necessarily be a bad thing. So recap, know your numbers. Step one, step two, seek wisdom, get your financial coach. That's your quarterback. They're going to impart knowledge and wisdom onto you based on your situation. Very healthy relationship there. Going to help you develop your mindset so that you can build this dream team successfully. We're then going to work our way into building a strong defensive team, their role, their purpose to help you dominate, protect, control your life. Simultaneously, we're going to be building our offensive team. Our offensive team helps us become more fruitful, helps us multiply. Technically, because the quarterback is on offense, your quarterback is helping you be fruitful and multiply right here in step one and step two before you even invest money. So the investment is you first. You can create so much multiplications.